Hi kids, I'm back. I am Sango and in our second episode of Online Safety with Sango, we will speak today about personal data. Do you remember our digital houses? What did that correspond to? To our personal devices. And apps are the rooms inside our digital house. But what is inside these rooms? Something which is extremely valuable. Our information. What is personal information? Personal information is all the information that identifies us, such as our name, our last name, our birthday, our home address, our password, our telephone number, what we like to do, what we like to listen to, our hobbies, and even our photos and videos. This information gives clues to other people about who we are, when we were born, where we live, and how we look like through photos. Obviously, there is some information we should always keep to ourselves, only sharing them with our closest family or friends. Here is some information about us, but which one of these should we never communicate with another person or publish online? All the information in the table is information about us, and it would be best if we shared it only with people who are close to us. Imagine if you were to leave your house and meet a stranger on the street. Would you tell them where you live, what your telephone number is, or when you were born? You'd probably never tell any of this information. You would keep going without talking to a stranger. Just like in the real world, there are people with bad intentions in the online world. These people could steal your personal information from your apps and your social media profiles and then use them without your permission. On the internet, any information can be visible to strangers. You always have to be careful of what you are sharing and how you are sharing it. However, some information is more sensitive than others and should remain a secret on the internet, not to be shared with anyone. We are talking about all the pieces of information which have been circled. Let's start with your name. Your name and last name is a fundamental part of your identity and when combined with other personal data could easily lead someone to know who you are. Only share your name and last name with your friends. Creating a nickname can help you feel safer. Your birthday. This piece of information is very private and personal even though many apps ask us to share it so that our friends can know when it is our birthday. Some apps can ask for our birthday when we sign in. This allows for an app to know whether you are old enough to be using it. Remember that, as we saw in the previous lesson, many apps have a minimum age limit for those who want to sign up. Your password is like the key to your house. It has to be long, difficult to guess, and unique, and it should never be shared with anyone, except a trusted adult, a parent, a grandparent, or an uncle or aunt. Revealing your password online would be like giving the key to your home to strangers. The name of your school and your home address. Revealing the name of your school and your home address is like telling everyone where you are. Strangers who find this information could follow you and know exactly where you are and when you are there. Your telephone number. Never give out your telephone number because this allows for anyone to be able to contact you, call you, or send you text messages. Great! Now we have learned what personal information is. We know what information is best kept to ourselves and should only be shared with our family and close friends. We are now ready to explore the online world and we can finally have a look at the rooms in our digital house. We should always be very careful online because even if we think we are sharing information only with our friends, nothing on the internet is really only ours. Here's some advice on how to stay safe online. Be careful when you share photos and videos on the internet because it is extremely difficult to get rid of them. We must never share our personal information, like our passwords or home address. When we use social networks, we must be careful and set up a private profile so that only our real friends can have access to what we publish. And finally, we must always ask permission before we publish something that is also about another person. All clear now?
Then see you again soon for our next episode about apps. Until then, stay safe, stay tuned, and share this with your friends online. Bye.